Hi, this is your more intimate table. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Just want you to feel comfortable and talking. How's it going? Good. How are you? So the weight is like kind of weighing the weight of the world. So how is she going to deal with that? Maybe I think that she's had five years to kind of plan and prep for this, which is a long amount of, a big amount of time. And she, you know, she is really, I think, ready to find them and not find them, to save them and not be alone with her daughter anymore and be a single mom. So yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think she's excited to, if she can, see them again. But yeah, she's definitely had a long time to prep for this. We kind of left it where Elijah and her kind of come to an understanding about their relationship. How do you think that's going to change when you come back, when they come, or when she finds a cure for them? Yeah, I mean, I hope that it's a little awkward. I mean, it's been just like five years. And also, I don't know if Haley is like, in like every day, every night, like, I don't know, Michael's and Elijah, like, she still has a kid, she's a wife. She, you know, I would hope that like, her whole entire life wasn't dedicated just to this. I hope she had a little bit of fun with her daughter and maybe went to Fiji or something. But, um, yeah, I think it's going to be a really interesting thing when I see her. Speaking of hope, uh, how do you think the relationship, mother-daughter relationship, is going to play out now that she's obviously grown up? I think that um, we just passed the little girl, and she's really, really bright, and a really good actress, and she's really adorable. And I think, you know, why we passed her is that she has a real sort of darkness in her, which I think is something that she gets from her dad, um, which I think would be really interesting. You know, she's, she's both Haley and Carl's daughter, and she's going to have some of the traits that he's passed on to her, maybe genetically, or just from what she remembers as a baby. So I think it's really fun to see that. Yeah. Can you tell us who the daughter is? Who's the I, yeah, I can. Uh, they will announce it soon. Yeah, it was her voice though in the thing, in the video that was. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a favorite moment from last season? Sticks with you. Wow. We had a big party last season. I always love the big party scene. Oh, actually. <laughs> the, um, the master ball. Oh yeah, yeah. That was really fun. So it was just me and Daniel, and um, I was in that big red dress, and that was really fun. Anything that's like a lot of characters, it's always fun. Yeah. Actually, I'm curious, how does that work? Like, because there's such a large cast and it's varied personalities of all these different characters. How, how do you guys feed off of each other when you're playing these big, big, big ensemble scenes? I mean, it's just, after three and a half years, it's what it like, kind of is, because we shot the pilot so early, um, or three years ago. Um, it's just a family now, and we all bounce off each other, and, and um, we know our characters so well, we know how our characters react to each other's characters so well, and it's just a lot of fun. We both have like a, in a social way, but also in a work way, because we all feel very comfortable um, trying things out as actors with the other characters, with other actors, and um, we're very respectful of each other. And so it's a really nice environment. <laughs> <laughs> so, how is the assuming they get out of where they are? How is that somehow um, Haley's the relationship going to be? Because you did a big sacrifice with your guys' relationship, so it's kind of been a bit shaky. Yes. Um, in the past, I think if the class is ever able to get out of themselves, I think it'll still be very complicated, but you know, he's a little father of his child, and you know, I think they want, to, and they did want last season to just be able to give her a little bit of a couple of years before they can. Um, and so that's what I think they'll keep trying to do. So between season one, episode one, and now, like, how do you view your character? What's the big difference? Now? I think that Haley has gained a lot of respect from the other characters over the last few seasons. You know, it was definitely hard when she was pregnant. Um, 
to show her strength just in a you know, typical, logistical way. She was pregnant and you know, she couldn't put herself into too much danger because now people sacrificing for the baby. And now, um, you know, I just think this is a lot more strength in her and she's able to play on that strength. Um, but I also think that she's always just one family and now she has it and she's just fiercely protective of her to her fault. Um, and that wasn't something she had in the first season. She had nothing that she cared about as much or at all. And now she has something that her whole life has to her. So Haley lost uh, Cammy, like a friend's Cammy, and then Freya was kind of the only like sister figure left. How does not having you know that sister figure left? Do you think how that will figure into her life and when she comes back? Yeah, I hope, especially now my other girls are not on the show. I hope that Freya and Haley have a relationship. And that, you know, I think it's really important in these shows. Um, it's a responsibility to show relationships with females that aren't around the school. Thank you so much. She's trying to wrap you up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.